Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the month of December. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, but this reading is not a private reading, so you know, it may not be for you. It doesn't have your name on it. If it does, you can let me know, but it may not be yours. This is being recorded at the end of November. It could resonate now, or it could resonate in December, or it could even resonate in January, because we're all at different levels on our journey. Now, keep in mind that if it doesn't resonate right now, this is being recorded in November. This is for the month of December. Watch it later in December if it doesn't resonate right now. Okay? So what does Virgo need to know for December? I'm not accepting private readings at this time. Perhaps I will at the end of January. I will announce it when I do. And typically I find that my rising sign, and I've, I've done some investigation on this, it resonates more than my sun sign. So just keep that in mind. You might want to watch your rising sign. Virgo happens to be my rising sign. What does Virgo need to know? Not that. What does Virgo need to know? Journey. Take a look at that. Somebody is moving. Crossing that bridge. Not taking very much with them. You see, she doesn't have very much. Just, just that bag. Crossing that bridge. And it looks like she's taking the road less traveled where, you know, because if you look at the arrows, you know, on that post, she's going down a new path, taking a new journey, not bringing much with her. So some of you are about to head in a new direction by the looks of things. You may be pondering, you know, it looks like she stopped in the middle of the bridge, you know. When she gets to the other side, it's like once I get there, I can't go back. So I think that, you know, some of you are, are, are really, you know, you're in the process of crossing that bridge, but you haven't quite gotten to the other side. Should we take that card? I mean, what the hell? One card, upright. Oh, oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Change of course, a new journey. Amazing. Destiny, free will. It is. Free, this is a card of free will and destiny, fate and destiny. But free will does play a part. When you, this is saying that you ha, you're being given this opportunity to change your life. Seriously. Start a new chapter. I mean, this is when the wheel is spinning. The wheel of change. So whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. And it is going to bring you a reward. Keep going. Keep going. The wheel is spinning for a reason. This change is happening for a reason. One chapter of your life is closing. That's what this is. And it just you have to keep taking those steps. It's time to stand your ground and start and over. Start over. Now, there's been a lot of criticism. There's been a lot of criticism. Somebody may have misjudged you or you may have, may have misjudged a situation. Mm. So you may be, somebody may be making you an offer 
or you could be making somebody an offer because this is this could represent you this page of pentacles this is a card of doing the right thing but starting over because the page starts at the beginning ready to learn some new things somebody has an opportunity in their hand could be you now we have the king of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius that you could have a man that is wanting to make you an offer or you have an opportunity to accept their offer Aries Leo Sagittarius this is a very capable man whether this is the the Virgo man or a, a you know I don't know this is this is definitely a masculine energy that is very uh, structured organized family oriented uh, hard worker uh, very focused a leader so we have somebody here that can take really good care of you or you can take really good care of them if you're the man this is somebody who is very capable interesting there's an opportunity to start a new chapter where things are very controlled organized but you may be reluctant to give this person a chance. I think, and it could be a third-party situation, I don't know. But somebody is wanting you to give them a chance, but you may not be able to do that because of something. You're trying to do the right thing, whatever it is. You're trying to do the right thing. Ooh. justice reversed you know I'm wondering if somebody's coming to you with an apology because this card can often signify an apology from a man that has regained his focus you know he wants his structure he wants his his uh, family back because this is absolutely a family man he's a very hard worker too but this is, there's been some sort of lies, there's been some sort of deception. Somebody did not act with integrity. Okay, this is a card of integrity and this is a card of integrity. This one's reversed. Somebody may be realizing, because they regained their focus and their concentration, that they didn't act with integrity. Interesting. And, you know, there's been some, there's absolutely been some betrayal here. And now this is like somebody may want another chance and you're like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not sure that I want to waste my time with you. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> There's been so much criticism in the past. Now somebody has an opportunity to change their destiny at this point. I mean, the very first card, a change in destiny. But it's up to you. And I can see that you may be stuck right in the middle because you're stuck in like kind of in the middle of that bridge. Do you keep moving forward or do you go back? I mean, that's the question of that card. So you do have an, you have to make this choice because once you get to the other side, there's no looking back. Now, this is somebody, you know, real this is betrayal, but it's reversed, like letting go. Can you can you let go of what has happened? Can you? Is it, can you heal once those swords are taken out of your back? Somebody has really done something really bad with the justice reversed. And it looks like now they want to apologize, you know, or come in with a new offer. Yeah, they were, they were very greedy and selfish and then thinking about themselves. Somebody's been only thinking about themselves, very greedy and selfish. <clears throat> and now you have to make a choice. You do. You have to make a choice. Do you? What are you going to do? You have a choice between two paths. There's no doubt. 
Do you go back to where you where you are or where you were or do you move forward and here's your choice right here. That lover's card is a choice and it's unexpected. So you may all of a sudden receive some sort of message from somebody that, you know, they want you to be part of their life again. They want to start a new contract with you. They want to give this another whirl, whatever this is. You may have that. You may, or they want to give it a whirl for, for the first time because you have a choice between two paths. There's no doubt. And it feels as though you're really going to have to look at things from a different perspective. That's what the Queen of Swords does. You're going to have to be open to the possibilities. You know, there's been a lot of lies and deception here. Between a woman and a man, because we have the man here, we have the injustice, then we have a woman. There could have been a third party situation, somebody chose another person, and now there's an opportunity to remove those swords, remove the, or heal from the betrayal, basically. Somebody doesn't want to let you go, by the looks of things. Somebody doesn't want to let you go, Virgo. And they want an opportunity to start fresh with you. Oh, God. <sighs> you know, and you may be like, I'm not sure that I can give this. Or they might be. Somebody in this dynamic is unsure about giving this another chance. Because there's been a lot of... Um, hurt okay and it's caused a lot of needing to defend yourself you know what I mean it's like I'm not sure I want to put myself back in this predicament again so we have whether it's you or the cross watch or you or your partner somebody is unsure as to whether they should accept this this offer since that there's been so much injustice but whoever the person is that lied is getting bad karma because they didn't act with integrity. And now it looks as though you are you are receiving some sort of unexpected... I mean, this is an angel that is bringing two people together. Some unexpected offer that you didn't expect. You thought this was... This, you didn't expect this was going to happen. And now you have this unexpected opportunity for love. Um, <laughs> somebody doesn't want to let you go. And they probably see that you have an option. You have... Because you do. I can see that you have an option between two people. And you have to make a choice. Somebody doesn't want to let you go. They want to give it another whirl. And you're like, oh, you know, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. So it feels as though you will be presented with a choice. Absolutely. The, the overall outcome is a choice. A choice between two lovers by the, looks, by the looks of it. I think that the universe or an angel is bringing two people together, you know, This man is holding on and she and the woman needs to make a decision. Maybe it's the man that may needs to make the decision. Because we have a man and a woman here that needs to make needs to make a choice. And this is about an unexpected choice. So you, and this is, can you heal from the betrayal? Somebody has involved themselves in a situation and now they want forgiveness. I don't know. I don't know who this reading is for. Um, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Gemini. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aha, uh -huh. forgiveness. Jesus, girl. You know, that's my favorite word. Yeah, somebody is asking for forgiveness. There's been some secrets. There's been some lies. And there's been dishonesty here. And now somebody wants another chance. But I feel like we have a somebody that is like very reluctant to give somebody another chance. Not sure if I can forgive you. You know, but somebody is wanting forgiveness. 
Now, somebody has a lot of doubt that this would work. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I've been, This hurts so bad. It's like this, this being stabbed in the back was so painful that I'm not sure that I can go back. Somebody wants another chance. Oh my God. They've learned a lot. They've learned a lot through their through this experience, okay? Somebody has learned through some sort of difficult experience. Probably some bad karma came into play. And now they're asking for you to be optimistic and see things, you know, differently. But I feel as though... Oh, no. Yeah, somebody is going to have to make a choice and you're going to have to choose wisely. This person sees that you have many options and that's why they want they're they want to hold on. They see that you have many options, Virgo. And so now they're putting in that extra effort to make you choose them. They were living some sort of lie, living some sort of illusion, being confused. And maybe they made the wrong choice and now they want it, they want another chance. And you're going to be conflicted about this. You don't know what to do. You have to make a painful, stressful decision between two. Do you keep walking or do you go back? Do you go back? That's the choice here. So yeah, this is a this is a month that I might have said week Latin my at some point. This is a month of making a choice, a painful, stressful choice. Dealing with the truth, dealing with what happened, dealing with the pain, dealing with what you blocked and pushed down for so long. Because that lover's card is, this is going to happen unexpectedly. This person is going to come into your life and you feel like they're your perfect match. They've always been your perfect match or you know they're their perfect match, but they stabbed you. Perfect match, stabbed you. So, or you stab them. It could go both ways, okay? Somebody has been hurt very badly, and now there's going. There's a choice on the table. Can you, can you put your swords down? It's a difficult decision, isn't it? Somebody has been trying to you know, block this pain for quite some time, but it's like, it's at the surface now. You are definitely going to be asked to forgive. Or they're going to ask, or you're going to need forgiveness. Forgiveness is, is on the table here. But you may decide that you don't want this opportunity. It's not solid. It's not stable. It got thrown away before, right? Why would it be stable now? Mm. Somebody wants a fresh start, but you may be feeling like you can't do it. I don't want to be taken advantage of. I don't trust. I don't have faith in this. I think that somebody is going to communicate with you that they made the wrong choice and they want another chance. And you may feel like this is not going to lead you anywhere. Because you have, you're looking for that perfect match. You're looking for the real deal. You're looking for somebody that doesn't give up when the going gets rough. That puts in effort. And there's going to be a fated change of events that puts this right in your face. Whatever is happening is meant to happen. There's a destined change, of course, so that you can probably bring closure to a situation 
that has been very painful and hurtful. The tower, it brings in um, situations, rude awakenings to, to put you in a better place. This is a universe card. It's when the universe says, okay, we're going we're gonna to shake things up in your life. We're going to cause something to crumble. So that you can rebuild again. Stronger and better. The tower also brings in uh, this event to remove, well, same thing, remove whatever serve, whatever doesn't serve you in your life. So there is going to be a rude awakening. There's going to be a breakdown or a shakeup in your life that gives you an opportunity. You're going to bring somebody to help. Somebody's coming to help. And it gives you an opportunity to unite with somebody. And you're going to have to make a choice. Do you, do you, what do you choose? Do you stay where you're at? Do you go back to where you've been or do you move forward? So I feel as though you have a fated change of course. In which the universe plays a really big part here because something isn't working. Something isn't working. And they're trying to bring two people together. But your free will plays a part. You have to make a choice between two. And that's exactly what this is. One of these people is somebody that has really hurt you badly. Or you've hurt them. I don't know. Could go either way. One person, there's been a lot of betrayal and deceit in probably a third party situation. The other person is somebody that you've run into unexpectedly. There's a undeniable attraction and now you have to choose. Do you do you can you can you make it work with the one that wants forgiveness or do you start afresh with somebody new? That's exactly what this is. So you have to make a choice. The tower, the universe is coming to Change your life, whether you like it or not. Going to bring some upheaval. Because somebody has been staying stuck. And it's time for a new beginning. A new chapter to begin. So yeah, this is what this is. Somebody wants somebody wants you to give them another chance and you have to make the decision. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do you move forward? Or do you go back? You have a choice between two, which we've talked about multiple times. It's time to make that decision, Virgo. It's time. With the Seven of Wands reverse, it's time to defend yourself. Do what's right for you. What do you deserve? So let's get some Angel Romance cards and see what comes up for Virgo. Somebody has been... <clears throat> taken advantage of in the past and now you know they, they feel like they have no reason to trust you know even though somebody has a has a an apology they want another chance I'll do whatever it takes please don't please choose me don't choose the other one please choose me and you're like I don't know I don't know what I want I'm looking for my perfect match here I'm not looking to play games with no player you know one of these people is very um, stable. One of these peop people can take really, really, really good care of you. You know, and it's a family man. Really wants to put in the effort. And then one of them doesn't put in enough effort. 
So you know who it is. One of them, it doesn't work hard on it at all. When the going gets tough, the, he gets going. You know, so what are you going to do? You're going to choose the one that has the strength and the, the knowledge and the willpower to stay? Or are you going to choose the one that runs when the going gets tough? I mean, or doesn't put in effort, doesn't have any energy, you know? One of these people has strength and one of them does not. Oh, forgiveness. I knew this was about forgiveness. I was positive. Oh, jeez. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Yeah. Can you forgive? Either way, for both situations, forgiveness and learning. This is learning and the judgment reverse was forgiveness. Okay. Either way. There's an opportunity to learn from the mistakes and move to a better place. But forgiveness is absolutely needed in this situation. Release and heal the past. Release is the key word here. One more card for Virgo. Remember I said, defend yourself, do what's right for you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. What do you want, Virgo? What do you deserve? What are you worth? You have to make a choice. You are at that crossroads right now, and it's a painful, stressful decision. A new year is about to start. Do you want to go through this for another whole year? Free will and destiny. That very first card. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. If you take that step in the new direction, you will receive a reward. But you have to do what's, you have to defend yourself. You have to love yourself enough to not go back to something that doesn't serve you. Or you, maybe you do, if that's what you love. It's up to you. You have a choice. You have a choice. And it's unexpected. From somebody who's your perfect match. A soulmate. Choose wisely. It's being brought to you from above. A soulmate connection. You know which one it is. What do you deserve? Good luck. So the ultimate message for December is a choice. An unexpected choice in love. 